Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about the gate control theory of pain. Two types of pain we have, that is the fast pain which is rapidly transmitted to the central nervous system by the small myelinated A delta fibers. These fibers release the neurotransmitter glutamate. Slow pain is transmitted to the central nervous system by the unmyelinated C fibers which release substance P. The first order neuron synapses with the second order neuron at the dorsal horn of the spinal cord. The second order neuron crosses to the opposite side and ascends higher up to reach the somatosensory cortex via the thalamus. So this is how a painful stimulus is transmitted to the somatosensory cortex. Pain can be suppressed in the dorsal horn of the spinal cord before the stimuli are sent to the ascending tracts. That is at the synapse uh, at the dorsal horn where the first order neuron communicates with the second order neuron, the pain can be suppressed. And it consists of two major components that is the spinal pain suppression system and the supraspinal pain suppression system. So there exists a pain uh, uh, gate in the spinal cord which is the pain inhibitory complex in the dorsal horn of the spinal cord which blocks the pain signals at the entry point to the spinal cord. And these are the inhibitory interneurons and they release the endogenous opioid peptides. There are opioid receptors on the terminals of the first order neuron and the dendrites of the second order neuron. In the first order neuron, when the opioid peptides bind to the opioid receptors, they decrease the calcium influx which causes decreased release of the neurotransmitter glutamate and substance P. And the opioid peptides, when they bind to the second order neuron, they, or, there occurs potassium efflux which causes inhibitory postsynaptic potential. Both these mechanisms contribute to the reduced transmission of the painful stimulus. So there exists a pain inhibitory complex which is located in the dorsal horn of the spinal cord, probably in the laminae 2 and 3 uh, that is called as the substantia gelatinosa of Rolandi and they release or they contain the in endogenous opioid peptides like enkephalin and dynorphin. Gate for the pain transmission is closed when the inhibitory interneuron is activated. So how do we enhance this inhibitory interneuron activity is the gate control theory. So we need to activate the inhibitory interneuron which can be done by simultaneous activation of the touch fibers that is the A-beta fibers. So this is possible when you rub the painful area. The touch fibers are activated that is the A-beta fibers are activated which convey the touch information to the somatosensory cortex through the dorsal column medial laminiscal path. Upon entering the spinal cord, they give a collateral which enhance the inhibitory interneuron activity. And when the inhibitory interneuron is activated, they release the endogenous opioids which closes the gate for the transmission of pain signals to the somatosensory cortex. So the dorsal horn represents a gate in which impulses in the nociceptive nerve fibers are modulated or gated by other non-noxious sensory inputs. This is called as the gate control theory of pain modulation and the suppression of pain occurs by the stimulation of the touch fibers at the spinal level. So called as the segmental suppression of pain. The segmental suppression of pain explains the relief of uh, pain in the following maneuvers. Rubbing or massaging in the vicinity of the painful area reduces the pain which may be due to simultaneous activation of the touch fibers or the A-beta fibers which will enhance the activity of the inhibitory interneuron in the dorsal horn. Local application of counter irritants and acupuncture at the painful site also act in similar way as touching the painful area. Transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation is where at the pain site the electrodes are placed and they also stimulate the A-beta fibers and this is how we explain the segmental suppression of pain. 
In my next video, please watch the gate control theory supraspinal suppression of pain. And uh, for this, please subscribe to my channel.